Hey everyone, and welcome back to my channel, a DIY like today, your go-to recipe, DIY, and lifestyle channel. If you happen to be new here, be sure to hit that subscribe button as it really helps support my channel. And don't forget to hit that notification bell to be notified every time I upload new videos. Today we're going to be doing some last minute, easy, beautiful DIY projects. I was recently at our local Michaels and found these beautiful tea towels, heavily discounted down to $3 a pair. So we're going to be taking a set of tea towels and removing all of the tags and getting out our iron with some hot steam. So once all of the tags have been removed, be also sure to remove the tags on the inside of the towel, the care label and the little hook to hang up your tea towel and then press and iron out all of the wrinkles. Then we're going to be taking our hot glue gun with some Sherbonder fabric glue. I decided to fold the tea towels in half and make two beautiful accent pillows. So we took our Sherbonder fabric glue and glued the seams of the pillow, leaving a gap open in order for you to put in the pillow stuffing. And once you have put in the pillow stuffing, seal up the last little seam and you'll have a beautiful Valentine's Day accent pillow. Be sure to be careful when using hot glue. You stole my heart, what is it that you do? Then I did the same for the second tea towel, gluing the seams, leaving a hole open in order for me to put in the pillow stuffing. And voila, a beautiful, Valentine's Day accent pillow. And the cute little pom-pom trim. So pretty. Then we're going to make a Valentine's Day gnome. It's been really difficult to find the faux fur to make the gnome the gnome beard here but I used some buckwheat groats. Uh, I put the sock in a glass and used a little a canning funnel to fill up the sock and then tied it off with some red and white twine I had picked up at um, Michael's. So we're gonna tie those off so that none of the groats fall out all over the floor and make a big mess and then we're going to cut off any of the XX trim. Then we're going to take our beard or our felt I should say and make our beard and I just lined it with a um, little white marker that I had had and then I cut out and when you're cutting out be sure not to cut all the way through as to cut uh, the, the hair of the beard. So then we're going to add our glue to the faux fur and glue him on to the base of the body of the gnome. Then we're going to take the top of the stock, sock and use it to use as the gnome's ha hat. I stuffed it with a little bit of batten, pillow, pillow batten that I had had when I made the pillows tied it off with some twine and cut off the trim and then cut off any excess of the sock from the top. I had added a little uh, heart embellishment that I had and then we're going to add his nose and a cute little Valentine's Day gnome. Our next project is going to be this Valentine's Day heart that was covered in this confetti. I just wanted the wire heart frame, so we remove all of the, the confetti, 
I guess it's confetti. Anyway, we remove all of the stuff off the wire frame. And then I'm going to take the twine that I had gotten at Michael's and we're going to start in the beginning. You need to kind of glue, um, just to hold the twine in place. Once you have a base down, then it will be really easy just to continue and wrap your twine around. I'd use three different colors of twine varying in shades of pink and added a little embellishment. Too cute. I just need you, I don't know what it is you do I just want you, I just need you, I don't know There we have it, it some last minute DIY do. for Valentine's Day. Thank you so much for watching everyone. Be sure to hit that subscribe button. Bye bye!